Hi there, I'm here to talk about five ways to make your daughter's first moon very special. This is coming from my workshop with amazing moms that are so inspirational and full of ideas that I just wanted to share for you to inspire ways that you can make it personal for you. So the first thing I wanna share is um, moms brought to my attention, they create these beautiful first moon baskets. And in these baskets, they may put a blanket, they might put a special pair of socks that the girls wear on their period, uh, maybe a journal, special books, teas, snacks, maybe some menstrual um, products in there, and she'll present it to her on her first moon day. And this is a lot of self-care, a lot of things that make her feel safe and cozy. Um, that she can pull out every month to, you know, for her self-care. Another um, great thing um, is a piece of jewelry, either a moonstone, a shell, a flower that symbolizes the maiden. And it can be, it doesn't have to be very expensive, but just something that symbolizes this special day, this moving from girl to woman, this girl to maiden phase. And um, it's very significant. So that's a great way of honoring that. And uh, some girls just put it on like when they have their moon or a special occasion, but it's something that they can have for the rest of their life. Um, or it could be a heirloom of, of something from grandmothers or that's special to you that you just wanna pass down and to um, make this day special. Another thing that you may wanna do um, at this time is to teach her about the different cycles of the moon and present her with a moon journal that you guys can do together. Um, she's gonna be start cycling with the moon for many, many decades. And um, by learning where the moon is in the phase, which is related and where she is related with her body and her periods, um, helps her to really embody her, her this new experience. It helps her connect with her body more and with her environment. And there's these really cool moon journals that are available that um, you basically look at the moon, see what the phase is, and just write down how you're feeling and what was going on. And by, you both can do it together. You can get your own, yourself a journal. And every month just connect with each other and really understand the different phases. Um, you know, do you have more energy during um, the maiden phase or the mother phase or, just to help you understand your bodies and your feelings. And then you can have like deeper understanding for each other, more compassion for each other, starting to understand each other's cycles and where you are and what you need. Um, it's a beautiful, it's a great tool for both mom and daughters. Um, another thing is they want to make the day special. So mom might take the day off of work, um, maybe call, you know, have the daughter skip a day of school and create something special, either a nice meal or a movie day or just something that really um, marks this this day is very, very momentous for the rest of her life. Um, so that's something if you're on vacation or, you know, things don't work out, there's something that you can create, you know, down the road, a mommy daughter date to really significant, significant, uh, make this day significant. Um, and the last thing that I think is really cool is you might want to present her with a mom and daughter journal. These are very popular on Amazon and it's a way for mom and daughters to communicate. Um, in a very intimate way. Maybe there's some topics that she doesn't want to talk about or maybe you're really uncomfortable talking about, but you really want to communicate this with her. And so you just take turns um, uh, journaling and she's, you know, you can share about your day or questions or whatever. And it's just a beautiful tool to really begin communicating as women very intimately. And I, I think it's a great, it's a great tool. And I'm so happy that we're having these conversations so young because it is such a, a significant bond between mothers and daughters. And you are her most important adult in her life right now. So to create that trust and that communication very early is just amazing. I'm so happy these tools are available for you now. So those are my five um, ideas. I'm sure there's tons more out there, but at least it'll get you beginning to think about, um, you know, as your daughter's beginning to bloom and have her first period. And if she's already had her first period, you can totally integrate these tools, present them anytime. There's, you did not miss the boat at all. Um, but the most important thing is to begin to start having communication, to begin to have self-care and honoring of her cycles and for you to do that too. Um, hope you this helps and I'll talk to you later. Bye.